Hey everybody, this is Guy with Survive. Thank you so much for stopping by. So the video you're about to see is an internal memo uh, between myself and Bob Shabala at Niagara Specialty Metals. Uh, it was also supposed to be shared with Crucible for the ongoing improvement of the new grade CPM Magna Cut. Uh, they have indicated or they're trying to say that our finishing equipment is somehow causing this issue, which I've not seen any of this in any of the Bowler Udahome grades, so uh, whatever. But uh, just to address that, I'm sharing this internal memo just to show you guys what I was seeing coming off the grinder. Uh, again, I want to clarify this video is from last February where I was just trying to share feedback and an internal memo for the sake of improvement. Um, these things are alarming to me and speak to a larger manufacturing issue somewhere in the manufacturing process of this material. But, uh, you guys know me, I care very much about safety and quality, so uh, I'm just sharing all this stuff now in the spirit of full transparency and disclosure. So I hope you enjoy this video and now you understand what you're watching. But these are just big holes in the magnet cut material coming from the mill. Uh, and I'm just encountering them as I'm grinding down through the material and you can see in other videos uh, as we intersect more material during our bevel grinding, we're seeing more and more of that. So what's alarming to me is how much we're seeing that, uh, how many instances there are, and that it's throughout the entire thickness of the sheet all the way down to the center. So uh, looking at that, if that's what I can see with my eyes, I don't know without expensive uh, sonar inspection equipment or ultrasonic inspection equipment, um, what else might be going on inside these parts. So it's my opinion, uh, they should be doing an ultrasonic inspection or some sort of NDI inspection up there at the mill before people are getting these things because we can't see it in the sheet until it's way too late. Uh, these are well into process and through finishing, we've got all the cost in it. So we're eating all that time and materials and everything to make those parts only to have them scrapped out. And I care about quality, I take this very seriously. So I'm not just gonna cover this stuff up with a coating to get it out the door. But as you see things like this, you can start to understand why so many companies are putting heavy coatings on supposed super steels. Uh, so if you're curious about what's going on in your metal, maybe you know take your coating off sometime and uh, see what's going on under there. But uh, without any further ado, please enjoy this video. Now you understand what you're looking at and uh, we're gonna keep the content coming. We got a lot of it. All right, this video is regarding CPM Magna Cut. When it's right, it's right, but when it's not, it's terrifying. So, these are sheets that were in the 207, 227 range, and I've got lots of voids. Uh, I'm way, way, way down into these parts now. Uh, we're down at 170 overall thickness, so we've we've taken plenty of material off both sides uh, to arrive at this. So I've got a void down there, another void. same situation but then way down in the bevel so that's damn near the center of the sheet another void and now while just grinding uh, this I'm down at 193 in a sheet that was around 210 to 213 uh, so I'm a good 18 or so thou into this and we're there nice big void I want to get this right so just as a quick follow-up uh, all the things you're seeing in that video I sent up to Niagara Specialty Metals for evaluation uh, I've never heard anything back from that the official response now is we did it somehow uh, so uh, I've requested to have the sample sent back but I don't have those anymore to share with you which is why I'm sharing this video but I know we're gonna encounter more of this uh, we're being forced to deal with all this Magna Cut. I would have preferred to return it but uh, since that's not on the table, we're just gonna talk about it as we go through and process all this. So again, uh, enjoy the video, but uh, yeah, had to add that information. 